I think one of the most common symbols or concepts used in computing is lambda. And not only in computing, this lambda, which is a Greek letter, has a wide range of applications and usage across various fields. For example, in computing only, you will see that there is something called as lambda architecture, which is a design pattern for building scalable fault tolerant data processing systems. Then we have AWS Lambda, which is a managed service from AWS Cloud for serverless. And then we have Lambda Expressions, which is an anonymous functions or closure in languages like Python, Java, and C++. And that doesn't end there. In mathematics, we have Lambda Calculus, Lambda Functions. Then we have eigenvalues in scalar values in maths. In physics, we have Lambda Baryon. We have Lambda Point. We have wavelength which is denoted by this letter lambda in bio we have lambda phage we have lambda chain in engineering we have lambda sensors and lambda control and then there is also a lambda literary award for lgbtq literature there is also a lambda symbol which is used in a lambda function in various contexts in various fields and these are the only um, one which i could think of while making this video and now we have this lambda which is in uh, which is displayed on your screen that is a multi-agent data analysis system and that is what we are going to look at in this video so what exactly this thing is before i tell you that let me give a very quick overview of why exactly this is needed so look over the past decade or so the data-driven approach utilizing deep neural networks has motivated the success of AI across an extensive of challenging applications in various fields. We all know that. One of the biggest barriers is coding. Coding has long been recognized as a significant barrier for domain experts without a computer science background to leverage powerful AI tools effectively. Lambda, this Lambda on your screen, addresses this challenge by enabling users to interact with data agents through natural language instructions, so offering a coding-free experience. This approach significantly lowers the barriers to entry for tasks in data science, such as data analysis and data mining, while simultaneously enhancing efficiency, making them more accessible to professionals across various disciplines. And on your screen, you can see that Lambda is facilitating efficient data analysis through natural language interactions. It bridges the gap between domain experts and the field of data science, which demands extensive code knowledge. If you look at this screen, which this tells you a bit more uh, in-depth stuff here. For instance, in this one, we are looking at the methodology here. So the proposed multi-agent data analysis stream, Lambda, consists of two agents that cooperate seamlessly to solve data analysis tasks by natural language. The macro workflow involves initially writing code based on user instructions and subsequently executing that code. Besides, another idea of a function calling based agent system is um, also there, which you can read through. Through comparison study, they have discussed the dilemma of function calling method and the merits of multi-agent collaboration system too. So you see the user is here which is just taking the data instructions and then it is just getting revised by the agents and towards the end it is asking whether to execute the results in notebook or not. Now if you look at this diagram this is another way where the knowledge matching in lambda is happening. The process selects a code from knowledge base by calculating the similarity between descriptions and the instructions, so which look really cool. And then here, this is the agent system designed by the function calling method and FCL is a function calling library, by the way. And this idea, um, it has been developed through extensive APIs that have um, encompassed a wide range of data processing and machine learning functionalities including statistical description, encoding schemas, data partitioning, model training and lot of other things. And they have utilized five function libraries to build these APIs, each tailored for different purposes. The data description library, data visualization library, data processing library, modeling library and evaluation library. 
each library caches variables such as process data and models throughout the program's life cycle. Similarly, here is another example which you can see where the workflow of function calling service is happening and the model which they have used here is UN 1.5 and React framework. So all in all, pretty interesting. Um, I think really would be good if they also release the code which is still not present. I checked the repo but as uh, soon as it is available, I am going to install it and do a functional demo because what they are telling here if that is true and workable i think this could be a game changer which will really remove lots of barriers and hopefully it won't be api based like open au stuff if it could be done through something local that will be i think icing on the cake so that's it guys i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.